Welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about non e commerce SEO articles. Basically, I changed my latest SOP to fit with people who are not writing for e commerce. I'm going to show you everything I do in this video in order to write quickly and effectively for a client. We're also going to compare the difference between um, the playground and ChatGPT once again. One thing I will note is that this currently doesn't do images inside articles, but one theory that I'm currently floating around is that you can just tell ChatGPT to include some links just as normal links. And then if you paste as plain text like this onto WordPress, then it will actually embed the page automatically. Okay. This is something that I'm currently working on that this is not the point of this video but i thought i would just mention that quickly so the first thing i normally do is i we're going to be using maven success as an example these are just uh some cool guys who i uh, create content for they're really really chill and they don't mind if i use their business in videos so definitely check out maven success if you need any vas or anything like that but basically what i say is please give me some unique blog post ideas so basically the way this works is I have on my playground, this is really, really cool. You can now set up um, presets. So what you do is you, I'll just show you how to do a preset just in case you don't know. So let's say I want a preset that you always say hi no matter what. Let's say I wanted to troll someone and I wanted to just get ChatGPT to just repeat hi over and over and over. You just put this in the system, press save, and then say hi sayer, for example. And then you select the, um, the preset here and then you say hi and it should just say hi. Uh, okay, well, great. Hi. Okay, anyway, that didn't work, but you, you, you get the point. So now if I just say, please give me some unique blog post ideas, it should just give me some unique blog post ideas. And you can see here, yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. Once you find a one that you like, um, then you can just start writing. This is actually a really, really good blog post. So we'll pick this one. And we're going to run these two at the same time. So we'll do, this is Biggest Boss non-e-commerce. Again, you can find all of this in the description, et cetera, et cetera. I'll leave the SOP in the description, which I'll just show you quickly what that looks like while I'm starting them both off. So this is the SOP that I've been working on for the last, uh, I think, few weeks now. Um, this works really, really well, okay? And I highly recommend checking this out. Okay, so please give me the website that I'm writing for. So we'll just do mavensuccess.com. Okay, add and run, add and run. Now it should ask me for the keyword, which is, of course, this one right here. Add and run, add and run. So this isn't really a keyword, but it's okay. ChatGPT is pretty intelligent, luckily for us. So it'll just understand. Now, in yesterday's video, you may have noticed that the playground was much better at doing that kind of thing. So now we need internal links. So we'll just give these here. Uh, so the NLP keywords, for example, on the playground are normally better. Again, it's the same. So we'll add and run this, add and run this. These are internal links. And then how long do you want the content to be? I would recommend pretty much always exclusively saying large, please use multiple generations if necessary. So you have to say this inside the chat GPT UI. You don't have to say this inside the playground. You can just say large here, which again is kind of why I'm preferring um, the playground, why I prefer the playground. Please write an outline you want to use. So one thing you can do is you can go to perplexity and say, can you give me a blog post outline for this article? Oops. And then you can give it the um, the blog post like this. You can use Bard for this as well. Bard is actually really, really good for outlines. So let's use Bard as well. So yeah, either way, just uh, you don't have to give it an outline, but you, you definitely can if you want. Um, if you're writing about a very complicated topic or like law or medicine or whatever, what you can do is you can say to Perplexity, give me an outline for this blog post, including the science or including the specifics or whatever. And then it'll actually explain the topic to ChatGPT as well. Um, uh, as usual, Bard has the best outline. So I'm just going to actually just use this outline right here. 
I think what I'll do is uh, maybe I should. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give them both the same outline. I do kind of use uh, Bard quite a lot, so we'll use Bard for the outline this time. This has not uh, pasted very effectively, but yeah, ChatGPT is very very intelligent, so we'll see what happens. So this then gives like an outline um, and like another outline uh, using that outline. So this should be professional, first person, plural, chat GPT, UI did not even ask me this question. So this is what is the tone of voice and what is the, um, the perspective. So the perspective would be first person, plural. This outline will ensure a comprehensive, well-structured article, blah, blah, blah. Um, please start, but remember tables, lists, and other formatting and internal links and other format. Also use several generations if needed. You always need to put this in the UI because otherwise it just does really, really basic bad content, okay? So just make sure you include this. It shouldn't be necessary, but unfortunately it, it is necessary. <clears throat> Get on with it. Luckily, the playground is, uh, uh, the playground is much better. I do prefer the playground. But um, as long as you prompt ChatGPT well by saying things like, please start, but remember tables, list, blah, blah, blah. It works pretty well, to be honest with you. Um, but I still definitely prefer the playground. So we'll let all this content finish, and then we'll see what we think is better. So this is the first generation. We'll say continue here. I do really like this content, actually. It's got like project management tools. These are real tools, etc. So th this is pretty cool, actually. I'm really curious to see what the playground comes up with here. This is a lot of tables, though. Like, I said, give me tables. I didn't say just give me table after table after table, but there you go. This is ChatGPT being sarcastic. This is really good content, though. This is, like, genuinely good advice as well. Uh, Slack is a very, very good instant managing tool for projects. Um, Basecamp is, like, one of the most used. This is definitely interesting. It's good content. So continue here. Also seems to be faster as well. Okay, so overall, this article is fine. It would probably rank on Google, but I'm not massively happy with the results here, and I'm going to explain why. And remember, this is the ChatGPT UI. Um, hopefully, the playground will come up with something a bit better. You may notice already why I don't like this content. If you know me well and you know my content and you've seen a few of my videos, you may already know what I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just see a couple of things. So first things first, I don't like that all the internal links are at the bottom. I don't like that it's invented uh, a CEO of Maven Success, John Doe. I really don't like that at all. Uh, it's also invented a link. I don't think that's a real Maven Success link. Oh, it is. Never mind. <laughs> they must have added that page. Uh, I do like that it's added an FAQ. I like the tables. I like kind of most of the formatting here. You gotta be careful with continue. It's a word that should not really appear. Yeah, there we go. Let's just delete all this uh, unnecessary information. Okay. Right, so let's see how long this content is. I'm gonna guess it's 1,200. Let's have a look. Uh, seven pages. Oh, it's gonna be more than 1,200. 1,429, okay. This is pretty good. Um, happy with the result here. It's not like, oh, okay. So let's say it's a little bit less than 1,429. It's not 100%, it's like 80%, okay? And then at the end of this, I'd say something like, can you create a horizontal blog featured image for this blog post? Okay, let's see what the playground has come up with. This looks decent. It looks pretty long. <laughs> okay, this is insanely long. Um, okay, let's just... I can't see any internal links, though. That's the only thing. That's kind of annoying. This would have been perfect if there were internal links here. That's okay. Um, what you can do, I won't do it in this video, but you can say, can you do this again, but add some more internal links. Now, this normally does do internal links very, very well, so this is probably a one-off where it just hasn't done it. So... <clears throat> Once you've got this content, I'll show you just in case you haven't seen this process before. You go to paste to markdown and then control V. You have to use control V. And then control A, control C. And then I always take this into this um, preset here that I have, which is 
Content Improver. You can find this in the SOP. This exact prompt is right here. Okay. And then I'm going to actually try something as well. I'm going to say, um, just because there are not really many internal links here, obviously internal links are pretty fundamental. I'm going to say just this once, can you also try to add these internal links contextually to the article? Remember to add HTTPS maven success.com. Now I've never tried this before. Okay. So if this doesn't work, then it's fine. But basically what this does is it formats the article properly. And then hopefully this one off where it's going to add internal links as well. If it does do this internal links properly, then I'm going to say that this is going to be a lot easier than doing it, um, running this again, because this does take a long, long time to run as you saw before. So we'll see if it manages to add some internal links. I don't think it will just because of the nature of this exact prompt, but we'll see. Okay, obviously it's being sarcastic. It's added the internal links, but it's added them to like really, really ridiculous things like Trello, um, which does not fit at all. I did ask it for context, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. I just want to show at the end of the day just how solid this content is. There's so many lists, so many tables, but the actual content is good as well, which is important. So there we go. This is now done. This has got a link to guides, Maven success about. FAQs page, industries page, Maven success blog. Yeah, this has all the internal links that I asked for, which is great. So then I would probably just run this to be honest with you now, now that I have it, but we'll see how long this content is. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna run this one here or I'm gonna show you how long it is. This one from ChatGPT was 1.35, let's say. This is a little bit longer. This is significantly longer. 2,300 words from one ChatGPT generation. I've cracked it, guys. I've finally done it. You can now write about any niche that you want, and then you just add a featured image. You can add some infographics, etc., etc. Get creative with it. And then, yeah, I'm going to have some more content soon about, like, where if you... I'll actually just show you this, because I, I find this super, super interesting. So let me just... Um show you this so yeah this could go into let's go on tiny home hub i'll show you what i mean oh i just realized this doesn't actually work never mind uh because if i paste this plain text which would embed the link automatically you lose all of the other formatting so yeah it doesn't actually make sense <laughs> never mind this is what it would look like though. You can just control V this directly. And because I've stopped using relative internal links, um, this is now just a complete article. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this was useful guys. You can now write about any, um, any niche 2.3K words. Doesn't have to be e-commerce. You can just, you know, play around with this, see what works for you. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.